The widespread adaption of junk rig by Western sailors today can largely be traced back to one boat, the 7.6 metre Jester, a modified folk boat developed by Blondie Hasler in 1953 and sailed by him into second place in the inaugural single-handed transatlantic race in 1960. A few ocean-going sailors had previously fitted junk rig to their vessels, notably Joshua Slocum on Liberdard and Eric de Bishop on Kaimaloa. Later, the American designer, Tom Colvin, chose it for some of his designs, but these were all fairly traditional installations, requiring a certain amount of deck work. Blondie Hasler was the first to adapt junk rig for safe and efficient short-handed sailing. The basic premise of Chester's design is that the ship can be sailed from what he called the central control station, a small circular hatch near the middle of the vessel, to which all control lines for the rig, rudder, and the sail steering gear are led, with no need to venture on deck. The skipper stays safe, warm and dry inside the circular control hatch, with a revolving pram hood for protection from the elements. The hood can be turned away from the wind, allowing the hatch to remain open in all but the most extreme weather. It became known as a jester pram hood. The result was, by any standards, an unusual looking yacht. Blondie said he called her Jester because she looked like such a bloody joke, and she certainly is unforgettable. She has a pair of unusual side hatches, sometimes called gull wings, because that is what they look like when both are open, for easy access to the cabin and port. Blondie joked that they were useful for being sick out of at sea. In 1960, with her bright yellow hull, unstayed spruce mast, unconventional deck and junk sail, she was an instant media sensation. The fact that Blondie was a retired lieutenant colonel in the Royal Marines, with a distinguished wartime history involving small boat operations, meant he could not be dismissed as a crackpot. Blondie's ideas were vindicated when he crossed the finishing line of the 1960 transatlantic race with an elapsed time of 48 days, coming second to Francis Chichester, who took 40 days aboard the much larger, faster, 12-metre sloop Gypsy Moth 3. Francis was wet, unkempt, and exhausted upon arrival, but Blondie sailed in clean-shaven, dry, refreshed and relaxed, ready for a good party. Blondie then cruised back to England without incident. He sailed Jester again in the 1964 transatlantic race, crossing the line in fifth place with an elapsed time of 37 days. Chester was then sold to a well-known navigator, Mike Ritchie. Blondie could not have found a more suitable candidate to take over Jester's helm, and the boat's legendary fame probably owes as much to Mike as it does to Blondie's genius in creating her. Mike crossed the starting line in every Ostar, as the single-handed transatlantic race became known, between 1968 and 2000, she became the race mascot. A few times, though, she did not finish. In the stormy 1976 race, the first time there were fatalities, he wisely retired to Cruise Island. In the 1984 race, Jester was driven too far north by gale force winds and the Gulf Stream, retiring to Halifax, Nova Scotia. Sailing back to England in 1986, the boat encountered a severe storm southwest of Ireland and was taken aboard a freighter after a capsize broke the mast and damaged Mark's back. In the 1988 Ostar, she was capsized again and lost at sea after one of the side hatches carried away. Subsequent voyages were undertaken in a replica built by the Jester Trust. Mike completed 13 solo crossings of the North Atlantic aboard Jester and her replica. During the 1996 Ostar, he turned 80, winning a place in the Guinness Book of Records. The following year, he topped it by sailing the boat back from the USA to England. He started the Ostar in 2000, a few weeks shy of his 84th birthday, but retired to the Azores Islands with equipment failure and sold the boat soon after to Trevor Lee, who continues to campaign her. Ultimately, though, his achievements offer the strongest endorsement of Blondie Hasler's unique vision.
to design build and rig a small yacht in such a way that crossing oceans can be accomplished in relative comfort and style staying warm and dry in the cabin blondie's simplified junk rig as detailed in the book practical junk rig was the central premise of that vision it allowed mike to undertake ocean passages well into his 80s our website is at www.junkrigassociation.org we hope to see you there